So, as I said, I'm coming from Barcelona. Uh, I was playing in Germany, uh, in Luxembourg, and also in Spain. I was professional handball player, and now, right now, I'm a professional coach uh, with the Tusis Metzingen, a Bundesliga team here in Germany. And exactly what is Humble AE? Uh, I started to create Humble AE like two years and a half ago, mainly because I saw that, uh, to be honest, uh, my my all my teams, all my trainers, they were always taking notes and taking statistics with paper and always with a pencil and maybe the most advanced with a kind of Excel file, but they were not really possible to to do it by themselves in a scalable way, not making technological way. So I decided to move on to that direction. Humble IE mainly empowers the humble coaches. We are not talking about football. We are not talking about basketball. It's just focusing humble uh, to help the coaches before, during and after the game. This is really important that we help with the tool before, during and after the game. If Amazon is the king of, of the customer oriented, we focus on the coach what the coach needs. And the important point here is that we are not going to change your process. The process of every coach is really specific and is not so easy sometimes. Few coaches, they like to work in one way and they don't want to change it. So we don't want that they change. We don't want that they adapt the process with Humble AI on how we can support them, mainly with the statistics in life, in how you prepare your next game, mainly is to save you time, and to analyze and scouting. Uh, benefits, uh, one of the biggest benefits, it's for that reason we are here, Gustav and I, is that it's totally fully integrated with XPS. But we will show a couple of examples. Um, what is the live, pre and post games uh, reporting? And then what, let's see that every statistics, it's done automatically. You will see like you will have a lot of different pages and you will see all the different comments in the in the in the different uh, slides that you will see, but it's it's really everything is done automatically. Uh, the agenda, uh, as I said, I'm I'm focused today in to show you the insights of the platform. So I will not put you thousands of, of slides here in a PowerPoint, makes no sense. First, in how we are from Humble IE, how we tag the games, what we find inside Humble IE, and how we go to XPS network. Then, uh, if you have a video registration uh, uh, package that you get uh, your videos already cut it with Humble IE, how you can jump from uh, the video registration, what is the best benefits that you can get later into Humble IE. And the last part, as we said, we will talk about the reporting, mainly reporting, means which reports can I get for a game, which reports can I get for a player, which reports can I get for a team. All of this will be in live, so uh, everything should work. But as, as we said, if you have a kind of a problem or kind of questions, throw it to us. Let's jump directly into the application. It will be the best. So um, here, as you can see, as you can see here, you are inside Humble AI. You have one man with the left and you are able to see new games, schedule games, manage teams. Uh, we will we will see different accounts, so like this you will see the different uh, futures. We are in an account, for example, of the German Bundesliga. Uh, if we start in the managed teams, you are able to personalize every player, every team. That means that you can create as much teams as you want, you can create as much players as you want. One of the main characteristics of that is that you can mark them as a playing, not playing, or um, on bench. For example, you can select the number, you can write the name, you can write the position of that player, and then you can see if it's playing bench or out. As maybe it sounds like a, like a something uh, obvious, but in Humble they play six players and one goalkeeper. So that means that all the other players need to be in the bench or outside of the bench, outside of the uh, playing list. You can upload as much teams as we said, you can make it in a, in a, in a bulk way. So you can always download the file and upload the file. So like this, you will see every, every detail and you can upload, as I said, thousands of teams if you need. Once we have these teams done, 
We will have to create a game. For that reason, I would like I would like to go, if you allow me, to my own account. And my own account obviously is, is not for for a uh, woman in Bundesliga. My own account is a team that is based in third league in women's, but also I'm based uh, I'm also uh, the, inside the, the Bundesliga team. But I would like to show you that. Uh, let's go directly into the as we said, Bundesliga. And we will select uh, my team, Metzingen, and against Weiblingen. In Hamalai, we have three different, three different, um, four different systems. Uh, one of them is, uh, for example, the complete mode. Then we have the simple mode. We have the pre-post game and the no and the no video. I will I will show you a bit much more in details on that point. For example, imagine that I say I like I would like to take a complete. Complete means that we are tagging the games and we are tagging and we are taking care, let's call it like that, taking care of the time of the players. That means that we can track when a player is coming up and down. That means uh, offense different changes. In simple, we are just I'm using that, and most of the people are using that also in live for our professional teams. Is that we don't we don't we don't have in consideration the time of the player. We don't have benches attack defense. Pre post game analyze that means that we are using it always uh, with a video, and without video that is it just for stats lovers means that I just want to get the statistics now. I don't want to see the video. In XPS we can see all the combinations. What does it mean that I can have a complete with video, a simple with video? And I can send that to the XPS account and I will have the cuts done from my video. But I will show you exactly how. Simple and with video. Perfect. Let's start. Great. So let's select one video. I will select that video. So this is a real, a real Bundesliga game. Uh, as you will see here in the left, for the users that they never saw Hamalai, when we are talking about the video, we have here the uh, players. We are in the simple mode, so we don't have uh, offense different change. And in the other side, the other team. We have also the defense system and the def and the defense system and the offense system. Let's make it bigger. And the offense system. You can change all the players as you wish. In, when we have a bench, we can just need to change it. We can always change it really fast. You don't need to, to wait a lot. You can really change it fast. Once the game starts, we say the game starts here, we go to start. Um, we have a recording button on top. So that means that we could record the event whenever we want. And if we say, oh, I make a mistake, here is not an event, I can just delete the event. Also, we have integrated the shortcuts, so it gives you the, the, the chance to go faster in your tagging sequence. S, start, L, canceling, and all the different arrows up and down to go faster. If I would like to go faster, I just need to go up or slower down. Up and down. Okay, here we see that Metzingen, we changed to 5-1. We just put it in 5-1, and now what they want to see is we will tag the different events. Just I just would like to show you how it works. So like this, you will be able to see it much more in detail. So the number 11 lost the ball, Lena lost the ball, and here it comes with the different events. What does it mean? We have here the three different phases. All the definitions of that events I created a website, uh, a page for you, inside um, inside Hambalai that I after the after the webinar we will put it there. We have a Hambalai wiki, and where you can find all the definitions of the of the platform and also the abbreviatures, so you are able to understand all the different things. In case that you have questions, what do you believe is a fast break? Are definitions done by teachers from university that are uh, Spanish trainers? 
mainly because uh, Humble IE it's right now in a collaboration, in a partnership with the university to uh, test the application in real uh, thesis from uh, athletic coaches and also from humble uh, high performing uh, universities. So Lena, as we said, lost the ball. In this case, just lost the ball. Yule, uh, Julia steal that ball from that position and the offense action was imagine uh, Barca. Once we have this done, we can also replay the video to see if it was proper or not. For example, we see the repetition of the game, of the of the video. Let's see that the number eleven and Yule stole that ball. I was not Yule, it was Maren. Okay, so I, I can change here and say it was not Yule, it was Maren, and save it. I'm going really step by step, really slow, so like this you can you can see all the process. Now we are talking about fast break. In this case, Yule, Yulia in fast break fails uh, that shoot because it's a safe. So a safe from here. And we are talking that this is a, imagine a, a long cross, a two against two with a long cross. So this allows us all the time to see the different uh, game system. You can create your own one. This is just mine. I created with my names. As you see, I don't think so that you have an action that is called Princess, or that you have an action that is called, I don't know, um, uh, Chrysler Rook or Chrysler Barca, but it's always a nice way that you can create your own game system. And as you can see here, you see the events that happens. You are always able to see what did you tag, and you're able to see all the time Recording what is the most progress. important. Okay. If someone has a question, just please let me know. Eh? If not, I will just uh, unmute. Perfect. So let's continue. For the moment, we have no goal. And here, the player Samira, in a fast break, lost the ball from here and here, playing a two against two. So we are always have the chance, and now it's Magda or yeah, Kati that makes a goal. So Kati, tuck, in a fast break, goal, tuck, tuck, tuck. And with the assist of Maren. I'm really going slow, so like this, that you can see how what you can do. We can go forever here, and we can tackle the game together, but I just wanted that you keep an idea of what is the data. If you decided that you can change after whatever you want, you just need to go there and you can edit the game. Was not a fast break, was not an assistant player, was another player. So you always have the chance to go up and down. Great. Once we finish the game, do you have any questions until now? If you have a question, please unmute yourself and, and throw it to us. One of the points that I would like to show you is uh, the double events. And here, imagine that uh, we will have a foul. I suppose we will have a foul. And I will show you how we track the double events. Uh, for example, the imagine, uh, let's go there. Okay, here is a foul. The number 11, uh, the number 11, sorry, made a foul. And here we can select the double events. What does it mean? In Humble IE, we have always a double events. You always have the ball, so that means that I'm in defense. So I can tag the events also of the defense players, not just of the offense players. I'm tagging always from the offense point of view, but I'm also tagging the defense. So like this, I can analyze all the events that they have a double relationship. Goal, for example, is always the double relationship is the goalkeeper a foul or a seven meters provoke or all the other events, they have always a defense uh, player involved. As we said, uh, now is a, a lost ball. So imagine that we could say now this player uh, lost the ball because he make a 10, uh, I don't know, attack foul. And the attack foul was provoked by Sandra from here and they made two against two. So this is where we're going to detail. Okay, so that is the tagging system. We, then we will find the second half, and then we will have the end of the game. That's it. 
And now what I'm going to do, I have different options to see. We can see the PDF, but I will show you in the second step of the presentation. And then I will send it to XPS. Making that process to send the things to XPS, we are entering in the second part of the presentation, where we can find much more details in XPS of exactly my game. This I will go to Pussy's Metzingen, for example, and I go to Analyzer. I would like to see all the games that I tag. I would like to see all the games, here we are, of the game. This is the game that we just record, guys. Um, if we click double click, it will appear the players that it's imported automatically from Humble IE. And we will put priority, uh, property, property, sorry. And we will put our video. For example, that one. Now we are talking, now we are start to mix Humble IE and XPS. Let's view the events. This is something that you already know, and these are our events that we created. Remember that we had a, a Katipanza, a goal, the only goal of the game. So if we open that, that pop-up, we will see the goal of the Katipanza in fast break, direct tag. We are tagging everything with Humble IE in a standardized way. So like this, we can filter everything. Where is the execution position? Where is the shot location? Which defense player position with offense player position? Who was in defense? Who was in attack? And if you are tracking with a complete mode, with the taking in consideration the time of the players, you are able to see which player is on the field in every possession in defense, and also which player is on the field in every possession in defense. For the, for the guys that they are tagging the games, for the guys, and here we enter a bit more in details on the second step of the presentation. If you don't have a video rec uh, or a product in your, in your account in XPS, and you have uh, XPS, but you have also Humble IE, you can tag your own games and you will be able to take it as it is right now. Most of the coaches, they say, Manel, but my game system is different than yours. It's not a standardized, right? For that reason, all the attack openings or game system, you can personalize how you want. Great. So let's see a bit more in details. Now we saw uh, the account from Tusis Metzingen, from my team. And I would like to jump a bit more between Humble, uh, between XPS and Humble AI. What I can do if I have my XPS account with the video rec uh, or and if I don't have an XPS account with a video rec, but I have both things. So I would like to jump now to Asoval. We, uh, from uh, Humble IE, we are tagging all the Asoval games of the league for this season and the next season. So when we are going to the Asoval, we could see all, uh, these, are, these are games that are not must be here. You can delete them. And our games, for example, if I filter here, uh, Barca, I could see all the games that Barca played in this season. I could see them and I can analyze them. For the purpose of today, I would like just to see one example. Let's see this guy. This is this game, Friking Renoyes, my hometown, against Valladolid. Every time that you click on one uh, game, appears a bottom of Humble. If you have the connection done, you can just click here and you will be redirected into the game that you cut it, or that the video rec guys cut it for you. You see here all the report of the game. You're, it's already made it. You don't have to do anything. It's already made it. I will, I will show you later in the, in the last part of the, of the presentation, which kind of reports and which kind of information we have inside every detail. Let's go back again to the XPS. And imagine that you will say, okay, I would like to see that team, Granoyes. You will just select here for that season, for that season. And you will say Granoyes. And again, a bottom come here with Humble IE. And what brings us there? That brings us to the analyze with all the games we can select 
analyze team of granoyers. All the information is cut it here. We will we will see later because uh, uh, it deserves a bit of time. And the third point, it's a player. I would like to see um, one of the most promising guys that we have in Granollers is Paul Valera. Is, is right now in the national team. Every time that I click a player, appears the bottom of Hambalai as well. So when I click here, I'm jumping again to Hambalai, and I can see all the games that ha that Paul Valera played on that season. We can jump all the time up and down from one uh, program to the other. It's everything. It's kind of connected, and you see all the statistics of that player. With that point, we will focus again into the reporting. And with that point, we come, we are going to the third point of the presentation, and is the humble AI reporting. Until now, do you have any questions or you would like to take a look much more in detail, few things? Because uh, the first part was more to tag the system. The second part is if you have a video rec, you can see what is connected in, in humble AI. If you don't have a video rec, you can tag your own games and you can anyway jump between XPS and Humble IE to see the players, to see the teams, and to see the games. And now let's go to see exactly a bit much more in detail the reporting. For that, we will stay a bit, uh, a bit as we started. So let's see the game. Um, let's just stay. Once I will explain you a personal, a personal, uh, this, uh, how we are working in in, in Tusis Metzingen and how it's working normally. I can put you two or three examples. Uh, uh, this the Polish national uh, team that is right now also in the World Championship, how they are working, and I will explain you also how it works with the Spanish national team with Jordi Rivera and, and his staff. They have one guy that is tagging the games. Uh, if you don't have uh, this option, you have a guy that is always tagging the games. And when this guy always tags the games, we see always few points, few key keywords or few key, uh, I will say KPIs that uh, every coach needs to have always visible. One is the number of possessions, another is the efficiency of the possessions, and then is the shooting efficiency and the loss balls. We are going to be a bit much more detailed information. Now it, it, it comes to the part of the statistics. It's a bit much more, I will say, harder sometimes, but this is also the one that it's you don't have to do it because everything is done here in Humble. You have a bit overview, also the connections, and then you have analyzed per every team. You will be able to see what they made in the split of time with the lost balls, with the efficiency of the possession, the efficiency of the shoot and the assists. And then you have also the same information for the uh, goalkeepers, when they stop the ball, when they make a good save, or when they receive a goal. A timeline to, to show you when they made the goal by goal. And then a quick stats that you can see all the statistics of that team. You have this information for your team. Imagine that we are coaches of Grammy, yes. And imagine that you are playing against me and you are the, 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 the trainer of Valladolid. You can see all the information again. You can see exactly everything. For the other team now. And then let's go a bit to see much more advanced statistics. All of these statistics, you can see them in life. It's not that you cannot see them in life. You can see everything in life. The overview, one team and your team, you can see it always in life. And you have the advanced statistics. We are going a bit much more, we are scratching now. We are scratching now all the information that we are getting. General performance, and then let's see what my team makes against 5-1, what my team makes against 6-0, what are my faces performance, 
And then how is my offense system performance? I'm better in five plus one versus six. I'm better in equality. I'm better in superiority. These are mainly numbers. But it's really good to see your performance against few types of difference of defense. Then you have the team. If you would like to see Claro, yes, you have a summary of your team. You have the events of your team with the players. And then you have the team events table. So it allows you to see, uh, let's call it team event is more macro, players event is more micro, and players table is a bit of information for you. One of another examples uh, in, uh, in Erlangen, they are using directly the download PDF button to extract that information, but we will take a look now. We see the shots from where they're shooting and the goalkeeper performance. The individual data, if you would like to see again Paul Valera, we see what he made one player from where he's shooting. This is also changing in the goal. And the game system. In this case, it's your own game system will appear here. Which actions did you do? To show you a bit much more information about that, I would like to, to jump now to the, to the German account. So like this, you will see a real game between Erlang and Stuttgart. An advanced statistics game system. So here you have which actions they played in every moment, how many every time that they made, for example, a transition game for the wing transition, they played 17 times, four times they were goal, one time they were safe, eight times they were foul, and four times they lost balls. You have the statistics of your game system. As I said, this is ours from XPS and Humble IE, but you can configure this on your own. Also, you have the statistics of the players. For example, you can see that Manuel Zenda, central back, played all this time these actions. And you can see how many times they put goal or not per individual player. All of that information, you can find it in the, in the, in the PDF. In that PDF, you have it all information. <coughs> Sorry. All, <clears throat> all the information from one team visually. Now coming again to, this, to the Spanish national team example, what they are doing is that they have one guy right now in, in Poland or Sweden that are tagging all the games in life. And in the halftime, this guy goes to the bench, goes to the, local, uh, to, the cabin, uh, to the locker room and shows that PDF to Jordi Rivera. And together with the second trainer plus uh, the analytical <clears throat> the analytical guy and Jordi Rivera, they prepare the second half. What else we can see here is the players shooting. We can see the other team, the goalkeeper of the other team. And then here we see the split of the players. The same information that we found later in the table. Now you have it in live. With visualization to see exactly who is the guy that brings more to the game. Uh, statistics in, in terms of how much time you're playing and which is the bench that you make. And again, this visualization to tell you exactly how it works, how it performs during the game. Here we will see the other team again. And one of the most important tabs that is the one that coaches, they are looking much more is this tab. These tabs give you a goals, possessions, lost balls, and saves for both teams with the split of five minutes. That means that you've made one goal in five minutes, but you have three positions, you lost one ball, and you had one save. And you can compare always one team against the other together with the partial times and partial goals. And then you have the game system analyzer again. It's a really complete PDF that you can have this in life. You can use it this in a timeout. You can use it this in the, in the halftime. You can use it there after. Erlangen, for example, is using also that report for, uh, uh, for the press conference of the, of the trainers. And, and it's important that you have all the information clear before and after the game. You can prepare your games also using that.
So this is all the information for one game. If we would like to see the consolidation, we will go to, go to my dashboards. We will analyze one player. We are in Germany uh, in the Bundesliga. So let's analyze. Uh, I think that uh, one of the players from Germany, it's uh, Yuri Noor, a star from Germany. So let's analyze that from the German Bundesliga. You have all the information now for this player. What this player does in terms of possessions, in terms of time played, failed shoots, post outs, assists, from where he's shooting more, he's a, a seven meter killer, from where he's shooting all the time more, also from six meters when he makes the one against one, or from when he shoots from nine meters. In the future, you will be able to see the cuts of the video of that zone. But this is something that I would like to, to be a bit uh, curious about because we are going to launch it in one month. And then you see all the individual events together with the last games. You have here all the split of the last games. Now I'm showing you that because it's the German Bundesliga. But uh, in, my, in my team, in, in the second team of, of Metzingen, I'm using that tab for the player development. It's really important that the player sees what they do and, the, and what they did actually, and how they can improve better. So like this, you have all the split of all the games. You can jump into the game if you need and what they did in the, all the other games together with the game system. Few trainers does it, few trainers they don't does it. Few trainers are sharing that report. So you can just print the report and you have the information of your player. Yuri Noah. And actually it's kind of simple because our three, four pages with all the games of Yuri Noah plus all the game system. So it's really good to sit in your evaluation with your player. I'm doing an evaluation every four or five, uh, between four and six weeks with my players. They are 17, 18 years old, so they need to be all the time quite disciplined with that. Sitting, look, you are you improved there, there, there. From this to here, you made that good. In that games, what happened here? I know that these, these, these games, they were not good. So you can filter everything. I just selected all the games of Yuri Noah, but you can have, you can download that and you can just send it to the player. You also have the option to see just one game. If you would like to see just one, you also can see just the performance of one game. And then we will have a team analysis. In this case, uh, let's go and jump into Vetla. Oh, into Melsunga. We have a couple of uh, two, three players there from Spain. And here we have again totals, team averages, the different KPIs that we always have, goalkeeper performance, where are shooting the guys from the different positions. The connections and goals, you, we can really see that everything comes from that side to the right. That in this case, the, the players that are defined as a left wing, as a left back, they don't have so many uh, implications into the game, that everything is fixed in three main positions. We will have the team events. And then we will have and this is something that, that the coaches really, really love, that you can see all the performance of your team in the same KPIs, and you can compare yourself. What are the total goals? What are the total sales? What are the total loss goals? Percentage of efficiency in position, in fast break, in counter goal, in possession, in shooting, in loss ball. You can jump to the game against every team. You have also the players. with all the information. All of this information is defined as well, as I said, in the Humble Wiki, in case that you have any kind of questions, is here, all the definitions done for university teachers from Spain that are also coaches. And then you have the game system. If you say, okay, Manel, I would like to have much more information because I would like to prepare the game. I don't want to see that 18 
I would like to see just the last five games. One, two, three, four, five. I take that and I print a report. And here is the report of Melsungan of the last five, five games. What they are doing in a general stats, like always, what is the connections on goals? As we can see, what we said, everything is in the same place. What is the main events? And here are the last five games. KPIs analyzed to see the trend and the, the, the trending of the different KPIs together with the players, last five games, and what they played that they make really good on the last five games. As I said, if you have the video rec or the future scouting, you will be able to see this done for you. Done, totally done. You don't need to tag anything. If you don't have access to the, this video rec and you would like to have it, you will have it anyway. Because every time that you take a game, every time that you make a video or non a video, you are creating your own database. What we do from Humble is we make it easier for you. As I said, we don't want to change your process. We adapt Humble to your process. You can compare two teams. Maybe you saw a few of you this visualization from the... Um, actually, it would be a nice thing to, to do if uh, Gustav allowed me. I would like to, to share it uh, a couple of uh, comparisons, for example. Let's compare Pola, uh, France, the last seven games against, um, I think they play against Sweden. Since we have a lot of Sweden uh, coaches in our call, I think it could be kind of interesting to see that with them. How we are Sweden, how is Sweden, how is France, compare one to the other in terms of general numbers and in terms of averages numbers. We can see that the saves, we are a bit up Sweden with the monster uh, uh, goalkeeper that you do have. The goals, well, are two less. Uh, France is playing much faster than Sweden on an accumulated way. Uh, and, and when it comes to the lost balls, they have seven and 7.9. So it's it's a bit lower, a bit lower from France. When it comes to the positional, the fast break, France does not run so much, but Sweden runs much more. Or I will say runs less, but much more effective. And after in superiority, equality and seven meter goals, we can see that in equality, the percentage is higher for Sweden with much more than plus 26 times more than, than, than France. And in superiority, more or less is the same. So I will say if the Swedish guys, they run and they keep the good equality percentage in, an angry, in offense, sorry, I think that they can make it. We will have a goalkeeper comparison. We have a shooting comparison as well. And then we have a bit of graphics visualizations to show you where are better, where are not. Together with the team events of each team, faces. So what we are doing here is comparing one team to the other. The last but not least, it's the totals. That here I can see all the teams of all the games that they have been doing in the World Championship. One of the most uh, famous things is that kind of graphic that shows us the totals in goals, but also the totals in efficiency. We see that Denmark is the first team in the top goals and also is the one that makes much more efficiency goals. When it comes to offense positional, Denmark again, Denmark, Serbia, Norway. When it changes to person of efficiency, is Denmark, Croatia, and Serbia. So Norway here is not there anymore. And then let's see a bit more of fast break, which is the, the team that runs, look, as we said, <laughs> not so bad this example. France and Sweden, in terms of goals, are the ones that are running more. But in terms of efficiency, France is here. So they are not running, are running a lot, are making a lot of goals, but they are not efficient enough compared to Sweden that is still there. Interesting point is also the, the Croatian. Is five, six in the position and the best in possession, in percentage. Then we can see also superiority and inferiority. We can see all the actions. This is a complete consolidation of the data. 
I would like to see played possessions. I would like to see what is the time. You can see everything that you analyze of your own database. Individual, team, and compared to teams, and then totals. Individual, you can get a report, as we said. Teams, you can get a report. Compared to teams, uh, it will come a report. And the totals that it give you a big macroeconomical uh, situation of your uh, games. Uh, and with that, I would like to make a bit of summary before we jump into, into the questions and answers, if you have more. Uh, it will be what we saw is how we jump from Humble IE to XPS. We saw that we can tag the games in three different in two different modes. Again, new game, you can tag in two different modes, always complete, simple with video or without video. That you can create as much teams as you want. And you can personalize it as you want. In this case, I will show you again Germany. You can personalize it as you want with the faces that you will like. That you can see all the past games and you can send all this information to XPS and you can analyze it then. And you can jump from XPS to Humble IE with the bottoms for a player, for a team and for a game. That it will jump automatically again to Humble IE to see the statistics of the, of the game. And then you can also open the PDF. And you can do exactly everything that you want. Uh, also, you can have the share link. I can I just copy the shared link and imagine that if I would like to put here the share link, we are able to see the statistics of that share link. So if I'm sharing you this link, you will be able to see it all the time. Even in life, one of the points that we forgot to say, I forgot to say is that every time that you are tagging a game, you can send a link, the same link, to your guy in the bench. So imagine that you are you are in Barcelona and you are tagging the semifinal Sweden against France. You could tag the game from your home, watching the game from your television, and you can send all the information to your guy in the bank in the bank from Sweden. So they will see all the statistics that you are tagging. They don't need to have someone there. It's kind of a good thing because all the all the in humble we are not talking about football that we have a big budget. So if we have a small budget and we would like to have someone that tags the event in life for us because of our team, our coaching is small, you can have it one guy, one, one, one guy uh, in, in one place of the world and they can send you the information all the time. And then all the statistics and reporting that we can see the third point. When it comes to dashboards, individual, remember, individual to see uh, one player goalkeeper or to see one one line player you can extract the pdf to see one team and then to see compare two teams and to make the totals okay um that's it that was my my three big points of the of the of the webinar today and as i said uh, thanks for your time and and yeah i hope that we can get in touch uh, soon okay.